Hello, this is Max from the Stock Arcade. Welcome or welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, today we're talking about Amarine, um, where I already posted some videos on them. Please check them out. Um, today I want to talk quickly about their four quarter and full fiscal year 2020 financial results, which they released today before the market open and I have to say I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I saw um, they have reported record revenues of 640 million for the full year which is up 43 percent year on year from uh, 2019 EPS a negative five cents which is also um, improving and uh, overall uh, as we can see here in this chart um, a really nice growth rate for Vasipa since um, its approval of the original indication which was for the lowering high triglyceride levels um, the approval came uh, in 2013 and as from then um, really a nice growth rate uh, which then saw acceleration when the res reduced trial results were announced in 2018 and uh, during this whole period here um, com a compounded annual growth rate of 60 percent which is really impressive even more so because uh, considering the COVID uh, year and also um, the generics entering the market but overall I am really impressed with these results now let's have a quick look what's ahead for Emerine in 2021 some of the catalysts um, starting with the expected European approval of Vasipa. This is obli obviously a very uh, important catalyst for Amarine, for the company. Then in the fourth quarter, European commercial launch um, and then the expected approval of Vasipa in Hong Kong and mainland China. This is both uh, are expected in the fourth quarter then what we have is uh, some studies going on related to um, Vasipa and COVID-19 infections with results anticipated in 2021 prepare it study clinical trial investigating the effects of Vasipa on reducing COVID-19 infections and subsequent clinical events associated with COVID-19 and then we'll have the mitigate trial which is um, a clinical trial investigating the effects of ASIPA on laboratory confirmed viral upper respiratory infection rates clinical impact on and outcomes especially with COVID-19 in 1500 adults with established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease who are at increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19. These results are expected in sometime in 2021. And then on the litigation front, news regarding uh, the patent infringement case versus Sigma and HealthNet uh, could be expected this year and further uh, writ of writ of certiorari which is a petition not an appeal it's a petition asking the Supreme Court to review the uh, Federal Circuit's judgment holding that certain patents on Masipa are invalid as obvious now the court usually is not under any obligation to hear the cases 
it usually only does so if the case could have national significance, might harmonize conflicting decisions in the federal circuit courts, um, then here the court ac accepts 100 to 150 of the more than 7,000 cases uh, that it is uh, asked to review, so that puts uh, uh, success rates uh, in the maybe 2% area. So honestly, I wouldn't be too positive on uh, these two um, cases. Um, any positive outcome here would be a major bonus, uh, in my opinion. Of course, for me, European approval of VASIPA, uh, the commercial launch in Europe, and the expected approval of VASIPA in Hong Kong and mainland China are the two main uh, catalysts which could really propel the stock price higher. I'm very confident uh, on the prospects for VASIPA. I'm planning to hold the stock and uh, I might even add some more. Uh, especially in uh, down days like um, we had today. So, in my opinion, Europe and China could be multi-billion dollar markets. In my opinion, the stock price has the potential to um, double if not triple uh, in the next couple of um, years. But as usual, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a lawyer. Please do your own due diligence, read the disclaimer, and uh, this video is only for uh, entertainment purposes only. Thank you for watching and see you next time.